So let's get started. And one of the first things we're going to need to do is install Gatsby CLI. Gatsby CLI is kind of a helper tool uh, released by Gatsby that's going to help us build this um, blog super fast. Um, and the way we're going to do that is if we open up the terminal and we make sure that we've installed Gatsby CLI first. So we'll do this via npm install g Gatsby CLI, g being for global installation. So let's type install. Brilliant. Now that that's done, um, let's install our blog. Now we're going to use a pre-built blog just to get up and running as quickly as possible. And essentially what they've done is they've taken the Gatsby platform and they've installed a blog and added some uh, GraphQL stuff um, and just made sure that it all works together. But you can build it from scratch, but it just takes a bit longer. But this way you can get up and running super fast. So the way we uh, do this is if we type in Gatsby new and then the name of our tutorial, so we could do Gatsby blog tutorial. And, and then if we use this uh, link here, which I'll leave in the description, we essentially install uh, Thomas Wangio's uh, Gatsby personal uh, starter blog. So let's install that. And basically that'll be the core setup of our blog. Brilliant. Now that that's done, um, what we're going to do is just CD into that as it's telling us to do and type in Gatsby develop. Now Gatsby develop um, basically creates a version of your site uh, with production ready optimizations. Um, so it's like packaging up your sites, config data and code and creating uh, a static HTML version of all the pages um, that will eventually get rehydrated by the React app. Um, so let's type that and get it all set up. And that's basically just going to do all the magic for you and um, start the build process and get it production ready. Um, and the reason why that's important is we're actually going to put this on GitHub and then on a continuous uh, integration development pipeline on Netlify. So what that means is every time you update your blog, every time you add a post, um, it'll automatically build it and it'll put it on Netlify, which will then have it online. Um, so you'll have a, a blog super fast. Now it's done installing. So let's go take a look. And there we go. That's our Gatsby blog all sorted. So let's go to the blog here. And there you go. You can see the blog is up and running. If we click here, um, we can have a look. Uh, it's got images, it's got the dates, it's got titles. Um, it's got, I guess, code blocks. Yeah, it's got code blocks as well. Um, so yeah, there's quite a bit on here um, and it's all a static site. So let's go add a post just to see how easy it is to add to the site and you'll see just the power of this blog and how quick it is to get set up. So let's go back to the terminal. We'll open up a new one and let that carry on running in the background. So we want to blog tutorial and then we'll just open it in VS code so let's go to content uh, blog and you can see the posts here now um, and you've got the option of doing it in markdown which is .md or you can do the posts in MDX which is um, just a different sort of version of uh, markdown um, we'll do it in normal markdown for now so we'll create a new blog post. So we'll call it uh, test and we'll say index.md and we'll just go over here to hello world, grab this and we'll paste it in here and we'll say curious byte. Uh, we'll change this date to 2021 and I think it's using an American date system. You can mess around with the date and have it however you want. Um, I've just done it like this for now. We'll just change this first line here to say Curious Byte says hello. Uh, delete that. Hello Earth. How's it going, my dude? We'll stay on the duck theme. Quack, quack. And we'll do Hong Kong here. Right, okay. So I think we're happy with that post. Um, let's go see how it looks. 
So immediately, because we've left um, Gatsby Develop running in the background, it's already just updated in real time. You can see everything that we've done automatically sorted. Um, November the 1st, that's the date we set. Uh, Curious Bite says hello. Hong Kong salted duck eggs. And there you go, you've even got a, um, you've even got a code block, a blog post. Very simple, very straightforward. Now let's get this online for other people to see. So what we want to do is go to GitHub and create ourselves a repository. So we'll do that now. And we'll just type in uh, Gatsby uh, blog tutorial CB, so Curious Byte. Um, create that. Let's go back to the terminal. Um, let's check the changes. So initial commit and then we'll set the remote origin to the Gatsby blog tutorial, which is what I copied and pasted from here. And then we should just be able to push very easy if we just grab this. So if we go to here now, we can see that that is all updated. We have our Gatsby blog tutorial all set up. So if you go to uh, netlify.com login, and we'll go to um, a new site from Git. We'll click GitHub. Oop. We'll click Authorize Netlify. And then we'll grab, um, grab our Gatsby tutorial. Just click Build. And just watch it progress. So let's go check on the progress. See how it's doing. And I think we're done. So let's go check it out. Brilliant. And we can see our blog here. So you can see Curious Byte is indeed in there. So if we want to um, update this, we simply go back to our blog. Test2 forward slash index.md. Grab this. And we'll go Curious Byte 2. Uh, hello again, and we'll do take two, brilliant. And then what we'll do is we'll just commit this. So get add second post, and then we'll simply get push. Brilliant, right, so that is now up there. Brilliant, that was just 51 seconds. Um, so let's go take a look. So let's go to our blog. Let's just uh, refresh this. And there you go, obviously we didn't change the date. If we had changed the date, it would have bumped it up, um, which is my bad. But we click that and there you go. You can see that that's changed. Hello again, Curious Boy 2, new post. Simple as that. And that's it. That's essentially all you need to get your blog up and running with Gatsby super quick. So combined with Netlify, combined with GitHub and combined with uh, Gatsby, you can get a blog up within a few minutes really. So make sure to create a blog uh, and just have a go, play around with it and see how you find it. But yeah, that's how you get a Gatsby blog up super fast. So if you found that useful, please do make sure to like and subscribe. It really does support the channel. And as always, I've been Harry and this is Curious Bite.